tracks, tracking in complex sensor systems. This presentation is about improved pedestrian debt reckoning positioning with gate parameter learning. The contribution of this work has been published in International Conference on Information Fusion, Heidelberg, 2016. Hi, I'm Parinas Kosoblogger. I'm an early stage researcher at Linköping University working on tracks project. The trend of this presentation is as follows. First, we formulate the problem, then a proposed algorithm will be introduced. After that, we present the implementation result, and finally, we wrap up the presentation and concludes the work. This work applies a dead reckoning principle to a pedestrian navigation system in order to obtain a system to locate the mobile user in both indoor and outdoor environments. These systems are gaining increasing interest as a tool to improve the localization aspects, specifically in indoor-based problems. In these cases, either the accuracy of the GPS is degraded significantly or the signal is totally inaccessible due to block in line of sight or a strong signal attenuation. Traditionally, pedestrian navigation system use macroelectromechanical systems or MEMS in order to locate the mobile user when GPS signals are blocked. Strap down inertial navigation system is one of the examples of pedestrian navigation systems that take advantage of MEMS sensors for positioning process. However, these systems are no self-contained navigation systems. The reason comes from the positioning error caused by gyroscope or accelerometer resulting in a rapid drift growth in such systems. The goal of this work is to improve the pedestrian dead reckoning positioning, especially for indoor environments, using inertial sensors. A novel filtering approach is proposed that is able to learn internal gate parameters in the pedestrian dead reckoning algorithm, such as the step length and the step detection threshold. Position navigation system using IMU can be generally classified based on the location of the installed sensor. Waist mounted, field mounted, or handheld devices. Since body fixed systems require extra devices to be produced and mounted, handheld devices gain more interest thanks to the rapid development of smartphones. In this work, we are considering the mobile devices embedded with IMU sensors. Now we talk about the proposed algorithm. The block diagram of the proposed pedestrian data going algorithm that learns gate parameter is shown in this figure. The algorithm basically consists of four different blocks. In the step detection filter block, N different thresholds are applied to a bank of step detectors whose inputs are the accelerometer signals. The detect steps as the output of the, this filter are passed to the Kalman filter bank block consisting of N multi-rate Kalman filters that process the step detections, GPS position estimations, and gyroscope measurements. The result of this filter bank are then passed to the state estimation and threshold selection block. The threshold selection block is processing N threshold depend innovation vectors and corresponding innovation covariances to obtain a threshold estimate for the step detectors based on minimizing some likelihood cost function. In the state estimation block, the N estimated states, together with the error covariances and other filter parameters, are input to the mixing stage that produces the final filter output consisting of a state vector estimate and corresponding error covariances. Now I'm gonna explain each section in detail. The first one is the step detection filter section.
This follow chart illustrates the procedure of the step detection. Three-axis accelerometer signal is the input of this algorithm. By receiving the, the signal, the norm of the accelerometer signal is computed. Then, in order to improve the quality of the signal, a buffer fourth bandpass filter with a proper cutoff frequency is applied to attenuate all frequencies outside the bandpass. If the filter signal exceeds a defined threshold, a step is considered detected. Among all sets of accelerations that are larger than the threshold before the signal again drops below the threshold, the one with the highest value is selected as the step. The output of this over follow chart is the detected step. Defining the suitable threshold in order to correctly detect the steps is one of the difficulties of PDR algorithms. The threshold needs to be adjusted for different people with different characteristics. In order to make our point clear, we have designed an experiment in which three people with different attributes, height and weight, and walking behavior have participated. All of them walk along the same trajectory that indicates in left figure. In order to have a better classification per person, they were asked to walk in a slow piece and count their steps, so that this can be used as the grand truth. As right figure shows, the threshold for each measurement is unique. Furthermore, choosing the too large threshold will underestimate the number of the detected steps. For instance, the number of detected steps for user 2 drops rapidly for threshold larger than 1 meter per second square. Here is the result of our step detection algorithm in order to show how threshold can affect number of the detected steps. The selected threshold for left figure is 1.3 and for the right one is 3. As you can see, the step detection is so sensitive to the threshold selection. Now I'm gonna represent the common filter bank section. Now I'm gonna present the basic pedestrian odometric model. Pedestrian dead reckoning algorithms detect gate parameters such as number of detected step and step lengths in order to determine the travel distance. The basic pedestrian odometric model is given by this formula. D stands for a total travel distance, S stands for a step index, L is a step length, and N here is the noise. Now I'm going to introduce two extended versions of the pedestrian odometric model. The first one is a longitudinal model. A longitudinal multi-rate model is the model that is updated each time a step is detected or a GPS position estimate becomes available. The underlying motion model is the standard constant velocity extended with step lengths. The state vectors contains three components, total travel distance, velocity, step lengths. The second extended pedestrian odometric model is the horizontal model. It's a 2D multi-rate model. The motion model is the coordinated term model with a polar velocity extended with a step lengths. The nonlinear coordinated turn allows for a varying turn rate and also varying target speed. The proposed model has a state with six components X position, Y position, velocity, heading, angular velocity, and step lengths. Now it's time to introduce the threshold selection section. In the threshold selection section, the threshold is estimated. For each experiment, the threshold is estimated by minimizing the likelihood cost function that is represented here. In this table, the estimated thresholds for minimizing the likelihood cost function are compared to the true thresholds obtaining from counting the total number of the steps during the experiments. It can be observed that the estimated thresholds are in a good agreement with the true ones, and hence the criteria given in the likelihood cost function seems to be a good indicator to choose 
the step detection thresholds. In this section, I'm gonna represent the implementation results. This table represents the results from applying the longitudinal model. The results of adaptively determining the step detection threshold are compared to the results when fixing the threshold to suit user 1. In this table, the estimates are compared to the ground truth values for the gate parameters and the travel distance. As you can see in this table, the estimates obtained with the fixed threshold for a user 1 are comparable to those obtained with the adaptive one. However, the fixed threshold did work less well for the second user. In that case, choosing a too large step detection threshold results in a too few step being detected. Hence, the threshold that suits user 1 works less well with user 2. As you can see, not only the number of the steps are affected, but also the step length adapts to satisfy the condition for travel distance. These two figures represent results using the horizontal model. In these figures, the PDR estimation is shown with adaptive gate step detection threshold when two users walk slowly. The threshold for step detection has been estimated for these figures. The GPS signal, which is indicated with the green dots, is only assumed available for a few seconds in the beginning and the middle of the experiments. As can be seen in this figure, using the adaptive step detection threshold provides reasonably good position estimation even during periods without GPS coverage. In the right figure, the fixed threshold is used and applied to the same measurement set as used in a left figure, which adaptive threshold is applied. As I mentioned before, the green dots indicate the GPS signal is available. As you can see, the right figure shows how large influence poorly chosen gate parameters can have on the end result when compared to adaptively choosing the parameters. As a summary, we have proposed a filtering approach in order to learn gate parameters in the PDR algorithm. Our approach is based on multi-rate common filter bank that estimates the gate parameters such as a step length and a step detection threshold. The proposed method has been evaluated using real experimental IMU measurements with promising results, especially when adaptively choosing the step detection threshold as part of the algorithm. The result deteriorate if a fixed threshold is used that is not properly chosen to suit the current user. Thank you for your attention. For more information about tracks, please visit our site at tracks.u20.nl.